We'll start with the Mustard C49 size 8 uh, curved caddis hook. This is uh, Antron caddis lava. So I'll just put some tying thread on. We want to go back a little, not too far, about a third of the hook length, and then we can go back up. This will just start to create the taper we want to achieve, and then back down again. Remember to control your thread and then once we're there we need a length of cream Antron body wool and just put one turn, keeping pressure on your tying thread, pull that through and then we can just tie that down up here. Again, just reinforcing that taper and then we can go down. Now in order to get this to fish in the correct manner we want the hook to work as a keel for us so we don't want to go all the way down. That's enough and then what we do is we go back up, open spiral there and then we tighten up our turns again to create the taper. And we double over the Antron yarn. A bit of a twist in it. And just cut that off. And just tack that in again with a couple of turns. And then carefully put it through again. And then we can go over the ends. And then spin my tying thread back down and if you spread this thread out over the hook shank like that it gets thinner and then we can go back up open turns again so we don't build too much up there and then tighten up the turns to give it a taper we want just work on that a little bit. There we are. Let's finish that off there. There's the two yarns. And we need a heavy dubbing spinner because this we have to spin very tight. We'll spin this up. There we are. Now we spin up our yarn. And then we need a few winds there because that's going to fall as we wind so now you, we want to keep it tight initially so we get that taper on the body we want about 11 or 12 turns and then as we go up we slacken off a little bit just to give the body each segment a little bit more volume and we stop on the underside of the hook Tighten off that vice and I'll go back and just build up a little in front of that last turn of Anton so it doesn't slip forward when I tie it off and then one turn over just to hold it in place and then we'll lock it off and then lock it off securely. there and what we want to do is we want to cut this off but leave a little bit so we can get to tight down and it'll open up again we want that so we can tight down secure it correctly and this will be hidden under the thorax so don't worry too much about it there we go there's the lava's rear segmented body then we need some green Antron for the wing case and tie this in 
right at the rear of the body. We want to spread this out a little because we want the wing case to start wide and go thinner. So, I'll do this. Now before you get forward, lift all that up at the front and trim it off with a little taper. Then we can tie that down correctly. There we are. Go back up and I want to secure this right into the Antron abdomen. So when we pull it over, there we go, that's good. Two peacock hurl. Now you see on the peacock hurl, if you can see this out, when you cut them off close to the tail feather, they're very short and then they get very big. So we want the big ones at the back. So we trim off that little bit first. We tie these two in together. Again, right into the wing case. We go forward. Wrap these. What a nice thick abdomen here. Uh, thorax, sorry. Tie those off. And remove them. Then we want, if I turn this over, you'll probably see better. We want our wing case. A couple of turns up now, like that. Then we can trim all that off. And go forward. Good. Then we need a partridge hackle, speckled brown, stripped of all the under fluff. And what we do is we hold the tip and we pull back about half a centimetre on each side. Like that. We take our scissors and trim that off there. Turn this upside down. Place the partridge hackle on the underside. And we make two or three loose turns and then we pull the hackle through until you have the correct length of legs and we can secure it. Once we've got that far we lift all the legs up. You may have to use your dubbing needle to do that. Like that. And we'll make one turn underneath the legs. Take the hackle and trim that off. And we go down to the hook eye, work our way back. Whip finisher. And remove your tight thread. And there we have it. That's the 
Antron Kadislava. If you enjoyed the videos, please like and subscribe and share, and thanks for watching.